Folks, Chris from Dog and Bone Grooming here, but most of you already know that anyway. Um, today I've got a chance to play with one of the dogs because uh, one of the young ladies that works for us is up on her jollies. So what I'm going to do just while I'm here is just try and give a quick demonstration um, of brushing legs out on the on more coat and more mixed dogs. Teddy here is a regular visitor, he's in every month so his coat's in nice condition. Um, one of the reasons that we use the medical condition that we do as standard, it helps keep the coats um, easier to maintain between appointments. So when you're looking over the dog, the type of areas you'll find that are not in quite frequently will be the legs, will be underneath the legs, especially if you've got um, a harness on, and around these sorts of areas with the harnesses and down there. Basically the mats and the knots are going to start occurring when you've got anything rubbing up together. Same around the collar area of the neck. But just as a, a very quick guide, if you've got a leg and you're brushing out on a daily basis, if you start the same way every time with a dog, I think he's just going to see if he's going to sit down and he's not. But what I tend to do is, is I'll gently slicker through the hair there. It doesn't have to be aggressive when the coat's in good condition. But what I'm actually doing is feeding the hair in, using the angle of the um, tines on the brush to get into the coat. It's down to the skin level, but you're actually brushing it away from the skin, so you're not dragging your slicker down the coat because if you start doing that you'll actually start irritating their skin and start causing um, slicker burn which is you know it's not comfortable for the dog but then as you work your way up and the idea with working at the bottom of the leg there is if you are finding knots if you're starting here and you hit a knot you're going to be dragging all the way down the leg whereas if you hit it from the bottom you're not going to hit a knot so we've gone through there now with the slicker i'm trying to keep this short as video as possible because I know now on Facebook and everything else people use about 30 seconds and you've had enough but then once you've gone through with the slicker if you go through with a comb same technique just feed it in come away from the skin so you're not um, dragging your tools down the skin of the coat down there dog skin work all the way up and then if you take the comb through the idea with using the comb is you should be taking any loose hair out and it will help you find any knots you're not actually looking to pull any knots out with the comb. If you do find a knot with the comb, there's a little bit of a, a stick there. So what we're going to do is going to lift that bit of coat there where the knot is. And again, gently in with the slicker, breaking it up, and then you should be able to go through the comb. And Teddy has just broken wind. It's a good job this isn't scratch and sniff. But there you go, that's what we do with the dogs and that's what you can do at home to make their experience at the groomers a little bit special. <laughs> and now I'm going to stop.